Hi everybody, it's me, Mike Celestino from Laughing Place, and I had the amazing opportunity to speak with a Muppet. Yes, I consider it one of the crowning achievements of my entire uh, entertainment journalism career. And of course, this is in promotion of the new Disney Plus series, Muppets Now, which is coming out Friday, July 31st on Disney Plus. So please check that out and please enjoy my conversation with Scooter from the Muppets. Here we go. Hi, Scooter. It's so nice to talk to you. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you. I've been a fan for my entire life. Uh, I want to ask yeah. you, you started out as a gopher on The Muppet Show, and now here we are 45 years later, and your job on Muppets now is to upload the files for the show. So I guess my question for you is, do you feel that there's a lot of upward mobility in The Muppets organization? Um, I think so. Yeah, I started out as a gopher. You're right. Go for coffee, go for donuts, and I've sort of worked my way up. But basically, no one else wanted this gig, so they kind of stuck me with it. Yeah, that makes but, sense. So you know, it's a it is an upward it's an upward move. So okay. hopefully, I can keep rising. <laughs> Fair enough. So tell me about Muppets now. What's the premise of this show compared to previous stuff that you guys have done? Okay, well, this is our first unscripted series. So um, we're very excited about that. And everyone got to come up with their own segment ideas. So um, Pepe came up with the game show. It's called Pepe's Unbelievable Game Show. And it is unbelievable, let's just say. <laughs> um, the Swedish chef has his cooking segment called Ookie Dookie Cooking. Um, and uh, Muppet Labs field test is Bunsen and Beakers doing experiments uh, out in the world. So everyone got to kind of do what they love to do. And I'm the guy who's in charge of assembling the episodes and uh, getting them uploaded to Disney+. Plus. That's awesome. And of course, as with many Muppet productions, you've got celebrity guests yes. on Muppets now. Tell me about some of those. Oh, boy. We had um, Tay Diggs. We had Linda Cardellini, um, RuPaul who's fantastic. Um, we had Danny Trejo got to cook with the Swedish chef. Um, Seth Rogen, hilarious interview with Fozzie Bear. That's fantastic. Yeah, we had lots of, lots of good celebs came by. <laughs> so technology has advanced quite a bit since the Muppets mm -hmm. first came on the scene. Tell me about how you're using modern methods of communication for Muppets now. I know you've got some Zoom chats and stuff going in the show as well. Yeah, I think when we assemble the show now, we're we're kind of all in different areas and we're able to, you know, um, take a look at different cuts and rough cuts and get notes, you know, over the internet, which the notes just keep coming. The notes never end, <laughs> especially from a certain uh, pig who's never, never seems to be satisfied with the edits. So that's, that's a bit challenging at times. Uh, but also what's great is that this is our first um, streaming show. So you can watch Muppets Now whenever you want. That's why it's called Muppets Now. So that's, our, that's kind of exciting for us. That's fantastic. So sometimes it feels to me like you, Scooter, are the only Muppet doing actual work to put together all this entertainment for us fans. And you mentioned Piggy being a little bit of a diva, but do you feel mm. like... Kermit and the uh, the rest of the gang appreciate your con your contributions behind the scenes. Well, Kermit for sure does. The other guys, I'm not so sure. Yeah, but you know, Kermit's the best. Kermit is the he's the glue that holds the Muppets together. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah. I noticed. Uh, I've seen a few episodes now, and I noticed that Pepe calls you Scooper. In, yeah. the, in the game show segments. Are you, yeah. are you okay with that? You know, no matter what, no matter how many times I say Scooter, he just can't, he can't get it right. He knows my name is Scooter. He just does it to push my buttons. I'm sure he does. And uh, how about the Swedish chef? I, I really enjoy his segments. I think he's really funny, but yeah. I'm curious if you've tried any of his food no. and if so, what you thought. No, 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 no. I, I will not do that. Okay. Yeah. I, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy watching him in the kitchen, but I, I will not do that. I made that mistake <laughs> once. Fair enough. And, and finally, <laughs> finally, you mentioned that Muppets Now is the first uh, unscripted Muppet series, which mm -hmm. implies to me that the previous shows have been meticulously planned out. Does that sound right to you? No. I mean, they've been loosely scripted 
possibly, but um, you know, there's always a certain amount of like improvisation that goes along with what we do. Fair yeah. enough. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scooter. It was so nice chatting with you and meeting yeah, you Yeah, nice talking to you, Michael. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. See you soon. So that was me talking with Scooter from the Muppets. Uh, and all I could think of while I was chatting with Scooter was how I had a, a Scooter action figure when I was very young, like four or five years old. Uh, a little Scooter action figure and my dog chewed it all up and I was very, very upset. But I think this more than made up for it, getting to actually meet Scooter and have a conversation with him. Uh, please check out Muppets Now. It's starting July 31st on Disney+. Plus. How can you go wrong with the Muppets? Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy, everybody. See you real soon.